Autobots transform and roll out. What's good, you guys? So today I want to bring back a series that I've loved that I loved all my childhood, and I never got a chance to talk about because due to school and busy stuff, you know, school's our enemy, bro. But anyway, I want to talk about the future of Transformers and what I think is coming. Next year, I think we're probably going to get the announcement of the new Transformers animated movie that they're going to do about Cybertron. And I think there's going to be a new video game out. Um, I've been hearing a lot of people talk about it, Transformers Online. I really hope it's I really hope it's like Transformers Fall of Cybertron and War for Cybertron with the G1 designs. And you can throw in some of the Michael Bay characters in there. You You, you can do that. I really just want a Transformers game where you can literally have multiple, sort of like Fortnite, where you can have like 50 Autobots and 50 Decepticons up against each other. I might be reaching with that, but we're not talking about the game right now. That's for another video. I want to talk about the future of the movies. So as you remember, the recent Transformers movie we got was Bumblebee. Awesome movie. G1 Designs. Great adventure. It had everything, right? I want to talk about what they're doing next. I think they're going to have the same G1 designs that everyone had. And I really think that they could really go all out with it. Like, have no humans, because I've been hearing a lot of people complain about the humans. So, no humans, all robots, just have, you know, have them do their thing. You know, like, have them on Cybertron, do the backstory of everybody. Not everybody, but, well, maybe, yeah, everybody, but if they can do that. But now I want to talk about the cast, the cast of the next Transformers movie. So let's get the first two obvious out of the way. Bumblebee and Optimus Prime. Those two are literally off the rip. We already know we're getting them. Number three and four. I'm going to have to give it to Ironhide and Ratchet. And for number five, I'm going to give it to Jazz. Now, the reason I chose those last three is because they're world renowned Transformers. Like everybody knows them. And here are my here are my off the wall ones. You all can tell me if I'm reaching with these. Grimlock and the Dinobots. Do you know how much money they could bring to the table, bro? In their G1 designs. Like I literally have a comic downstairs I was literally just reading. And it, it was freaking savage. Like there's no other way to describe it. It was savage. If y'all don't read Transformers comics, y'all really should. They're pretty some of them are pretty good. <laughs> I won't say all of them because I, I hate some, which I should talk about in a later video. There's going to be a lot more Transformers content on this channel because I want to do more videos about other series that I like besides just anime and stuff. Next up, for the last Autobot I want to see, we this Autobot we have to see at some point. We just have to. I want to see freaking Omega Supreme. Like, if y'all don't know who Omega Supreme is, he's basically a freaking starship. Literally, he's he's a freaking giant Autobot, like, the size of a quarter of a city. Like, I really want to see that. Now for the Decepticons. Obviously, we got to have the first two get out of the way. Megatron, Starscream, Barricade, Soundwave. Those are the obvious choices right now. And let's see, who else? Uh... Maybe have some Seekers in there. Maybe like Thundercracker and Skywarp. Maybe have them in the movie. When they're fighting the Autobots. Have some provide some aerial superiority. Because what's Decepticons without Jets? Am I right? <laughs> now now that we got the characters out of the way. Wait. I, I, I want to see a few more Decepticons. We have to see Trypticon and the Insecticons. We have to absolutely see those. We have to see those guys. Now... Let's talk about the story a little bit. What could Transformers 7 be about? Here's my thing. It could literally be about the backstory of Cybertron before the war and then the events leading up to the war with everyone in their G1 glory. Or it could be or it could take place after Bumblebee, like have Bumblebee 2. I would be fine with either of those because I really enjoyed Bumblebee. It's my favorite Transformers movie of all time, besides the last night. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate in the comments about me liking The Last Night. If, if you don't like The Last Night, I respect that because I know there are certain fans that hate it for some reason. But yeah, guys, that's all there is for the Transformers video. I know I would do the Dragon Ball Z Next Generations 
next generation fighters video today but i really wanted to talk about transformers because nobody's been talking about them recently so we gotta do them some justice and i'm gonna be on the transformers grind for a while so see y'all later